What's up, everybody? I'm Alex Roth. I'm here with our tech editor, Elena Yi. Hey, everybody. And we're here to talk about CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Vegas. And now, what do you think are going to be the biggest products we'll see at CES this year? Probably some 4K TVs? I definitely think uh, we're going to see a lot more with 4K this year. I, I think this year is going to be more iterative than innovative. Gotcha. So, you know, they were talking a lot about 4K previously. Vizio last year uh, made mention of a $1,000 uh, 50 inch TV, which did come out yeah. in September, I believe, this year. I think hopefully we'll see more TVs in the, a more affordable price range. Also, introducing uh, technology that improves the quality of, like, say, color. Um, and like black levels, that sort of thing. OLED technology is still too expensive, so I think companies like LG is, are pursuing things like quantum dot technology in order to get like that really nice color that everyone's been hoping for. Gotcha, and maybe we'll even see some distribution companies like Netflix coming out and discussing plans to more get content, more yeah. 4K video onto 4K screens. Or 4K, uh, 4K Blu-rays, that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah. And what about VR, virtual reality? So I definitely think we're going to see more of it at CES 2015. Um, both Oculus and Sony are going to be at the show. And I mean, Oculus has done a great job this whole year of releasing constant updates and just, you know, new prototypes. There was the uh, development kit too that came out earlier this year, and then they released the consumer prototype, Crescent Bay, later in the year. So I'm um, definitely thinking there's going to be some kind of announcement or showing of something new at the show. Uh, Sony has Project Morpheus, yes. obviously. Um, so hopefully we'll see something of that as well during their Don't press conference. Don't know for conference. sure. Don't know for sure. Don't know for sure. And there's of course going to be other companies as well who are trying to cash in on the whole virtual reality like tide. What about the Internet of Things? So yeah, I think that's another trend we're going to see a lot of this year where you have like the whole connected home thing where it's yeah. like, hey, um, your refrigerator can tell you that you're out of eggs or like you can start your toaster from I guess your bed, like use an app to turn it on. Aren't there enough things on the internet already? Yeah, and if, if that's not your thing, I think another thing that's going to be a big theme this year is wearables. Like, I think yeah. everybody's talking about wearables, and not just for like your wrists. Um, I've, I've been hearing things about like stuff in your clothes, like integrated into your clothing, yeah. like heart rate monitors. Um, I think they're going to get more inventive about where you can put it, like maybe like an ankle sort of thing. Keep yeah. Your, keep your mind out right. of the gutter. Yeah, and now that nobody <laughs> hears that nobody luck. hears about Google Glass anymore. I mean maybe we'll hear maybe we'll see a Google Google Glass competitor or something like you that. You know, come Sony out. did release a press uh, has a had a press release this yeah. week where they were talking about a clip on pair of smart glasses, so we'll probably hear more about that as cool. well. Maybe hopefully get some hands on time with it when we're on the floor. And I think this is something that a lot of people haven't been talking about much, but I think we're gonna see a lot more with I want to say kind of connected cars or more tech yeah. in cars. Apple's CarPlay kind of came out and you don't hear a whole lot about it. Right, and uh, Google definitely, or at least according to sources in the news, that they're think they're trying to get you know Android Auto going, cool. right? So you're going to see the Android interface operating system in cars, so a better integration like with your phone and also that you can natively play like music and get directions in your car through that uh, operating service. Awesome. CES starts on January 5th. We'll be there bringing you all the latest news, hands-ons, and press conferences. So keep it locked here on IGN.